Can everybody hear me? Okay, good. Um, sadly, I could never be a member of the Jackson family because they're all very soft-spoken and that's never been a problem of mine. I can be heard in large rooms. Um, this is Kimberly Jolly. Uh, it has been great fun to partner with her for Summer Moon, uh, this new block of the month that we're doing. What I'd like to tell you first about how the quilt came about is several years ago I was making blocks from something else and I was making the blocks in two different sizes and adding blocks from something else and I had this idea very much in my mind when I started. I'm not going to pretend that I knew exactly how I was going to get there but my idea was to add frames and filler pieces around the blocks to make them all a uniform size. Lisa showed my original quilt to Kimberly because she wanted a pattern of it. And Kimberly loved it and Sarah Price did the most amazing job patterning it. What it is, is 19 different blocks. 24. 24, okay, see, <laughs> I already lost count. <laughs> made in three different sizes. There is a small block, a medium sized block, and a large block, and they each get different size frames on them. The small blocks get filler pieces, some different variations, and the idea is that you're going to get this movement that it's going to create, it doesn't look like a straight setting. Summer Moon, it's the name of a wonderful coffee shop in Austin where we discussed, okay, let's do this. How are we going to do it? What's the timing? That quarter shop and its Soema is going to offer this and what it's in the book, this is a draft of the book. Um, it is going to be offered. They're showing it and everything in here is, I'm going to put this down for just a sec, um, in two different Moda collections. There is a vintage quilt made with Lollipop Garden by Lella Boutique. There is a modern version made primarily with Day in Paris by Zen Chic. You all got a shop guide for cutting to do it both as individual single sale kits, also as a block of the month. Uh, within probably a week or two, we will have, we'll go ahead and get it sent out it'll be on the Moda website. We're going to have, uh, I guess, I hate to call it generic cutting, but a more simplified yardage of this many background pieces, this many prints, if you want to use something else. This is a great quilt to work with any style of fabric. You can mix collections. Uh, you could do a single background. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. I love multiple backgrounds. To me, that's just a look I like. So in here we have also, like, if you wanted to do it as a quilt <laughs> kit, we have that for both colorways. But if you wanted to do it as a block of the month, you just look at the, each, the pattern and it's got that. So it gives you all the options. And we mix some backgrounds from different collections mm -hmm. with both of them. So you can do it any way, like, and it's only $19.95, and it's so Emma doesn't sell directly to Amazon in any way. Um, so I, I, it's a really good price for what you get. The other thing I think I really, really liked, um, I have used some of the block of the months and patterns to do, to go, I'm a pattern writer, and to go and now be working with Sarah and it's so Emma and Kimberly. It has been, the patterns are so good. They're simplified. They're methods that are tried and true. There are things that you're going to have. A, the yardage is generous enough that you can make adjustments to use a different method if that's what you prefer in your shop. But you're going to get really good results. Um, it's going to be easy to follow exactly based on the fabrics they use or to make substitutions because in the book it is so beautifully specified this is what's going to be used for different blocks so using the same thing substituting something else it's going to be very very simple to keep it straight for you 
Um, how big is the quilt? It's 70 by 78. Thank you, I kept forgetting. Um, the blocks are also, they would be great for classes because they finish at like four and a half, six, six and like seven and a half, seven and they're and super half, yes. tiny. Um, but it's a great chance to like improve your skills, teach new things, teach things that maybe they haven't tried before. Um, with all the little triangles, it's also really good if you use triangle paper or specific rulers, block lock or easy angle, same thing. Um, for the small piecing, how many of you um, are familiar with Lisa Bond Jean's quilts? You can starch, you cannot starch, but that's a great trick and something to teach if you're doing really tiny piecing. Um, what else do we need to say? I think that's it. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Um, There's 24 blocks made three times, which is 72 blocks. Right. And then when you put them together, because I sewed that, it's just straight. It doesn't look like it is, but it's just straight setting. Mm -hmm. Yep. And honestly, that was kind of where my idea started, is to be able to sew it in straight rows but with the different frames, you can, just by even turning the blocks, you're gonna get this different movement. So, yes, I saw another hand. Yes? This one here says yardage provided may change. How soon will it not change? Um, the, the book has already been proved about three times, and um, what you have right there is pretty close. The book will be final and sent to printer in December, and all you have to do is email me. Just do Kimberly at itsuema.com and we will have an updated uh, thing. But what we're going to have next week will be very accurate. It's what I used to sew with and another, the person who's making the vintage version did that also. Okay. I'm just very nervous about placing an order with no and oh look. Yeah, no. <laughs> if it changes, it would be very slight. Okay. And we're always generous, so um, I don't, I, I think it's really accurate. Mm -hmm where we're at right now. Yes? How many months is the block a month? And how is it arranged? Ten. It's ten months. Okay, so you won't make it how many months? Multiple blocks per month? So, so we have a little list in here, and I don't remember the answer, but well, we, okay. So we even broke it down so that the stores could follow it. So you make three blocks each month times three, so nine blocks a month, which is super long. And it just tells you what you could do each month. And the way we grouped it is we have 10 different backgrounds. So on month one, you use the same background all month. And then month two, you use the same background. So it's consist so it makes it easier for the consumer, but then when they get it all together, they have all these backgrounds mixed together. So we have everything in here that we could think of. I mean, I own a quilt shop, so I'm trying to make it easy for the consumer, the quilt shop, everybody. Um, so I try to think through everything that y'all would need. And so you'll do eight months of blocks, and then you'll have two months where you're actually doing the frame setting, because one of the months you will have a few more pieces to piece, and then a whole bunch of the frame blocks go very, very fast, and then at the very end, 72 blocks in a straight setting, eight by nine. And so. like in the frame section, we show you, okay, this background goes with this block. There's like different um, like charts to show you because it is a lot of data, but it's very organized data. <laughs> That's why they wrote the pattern. <laughs> yes. It's, it's just It's So Emma, she shouldn't have, yeah. yeah. It's So Emma, uh, they do the patterns and patterns in books. And so yes, It's So Emma is the publisher. Oh yes, we can hold the quilt again. So this is a pattern? It's a book. It's, a book. it's gonna it's a be book. a book. A book. But you could offer it as one quilt kit. And mm -hmm. that's in the front. And then individually within each pattern has that information if you want to do it more as a block of the month. And it'll be a 75 page book. I knew she had that written down here. <laughs> yeah. And it's all full color. We have part of the photos in there. We're going to be doing a photo shoot and what we're hoping in one of uh, the houses that Joanna Gaines did on Fixer Upper so that it has like the look of that. Um, 
But the nice part is it really is 24 blocks, but it looks like more. The filling pieces change the look of it and mix it up and sometimes it is a case of where exactly, how is this set, what's the block, what's the movement on it. And, but it is, it's, that's, it is 72 blocks. So, what else? Any other questions? I think we're, oh, yes. The consumer buys books Yes. I'm sorry, what was the last part? If you're going to get it, it's, it's yes. not like we buy a book and then... Right. So they're going to get all the food. Right. The they're, they're yes. Working. Yes. So, so it is something you can sell it just as a book. Uh, yes. So, any other questions? I think we're good. All right. Do you want to do the Oh, yes. I'm going to give you that. Where are... All right. Oh, this has got them. Oh! <laughs> So is the book going to have how it would be kids for monthly, or is that something additional? That, that you got, that both you in got there. that in, in one of the handouts that but it's you also got at the very the beginning. I can, yeah. I can show you. Oh, perfect. It's both. I was say that one. Okay. We're going to do two prizes. Oh, we didn't get your card. Um, we're going to have two prizes that you're going to get to take home today. Uh, and then two, we're going to draw two names that we will go ahead and send you a book as soon as it is available. Published. All right, the first one is Jenny Yanon, The Sewing Place from Helena, Montana. You're supposed to yell and scream. <laughs> All right. And, oh, okay. All right. One thing that I just happened to think about, excuse me for yeah, a go ahead. talking about that. One of the coolest lessons in that is most quilts that you make is either a nine patch, divided three ways, et cetera. Mm -hmm. This is divided all different ways. So you can also teach at your program, block of the mm -hmm. month, whatever, the division of how you make a four patch, how you make, because this mm -hmm. is divided yep. in so many different ways other than uh -huh. Normally you don't have three patches and four patches. Nope. Visibility, so. That was a good point. <laughs> All right. Latane Johnson, Gooses and Squirrels. Woohoo! All right. We need to hear the story of that name in the shop. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a good story. <laughs> All right. And Diane Kirkhart uh, will be sending you a book. <laughs> and... Margaret Lewin of Miss Marker's Quilts will be sending you a book. Well, who's Margaret? You're Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Huh? February. February. So, thank you. Anyway, so, yeah, that was the one with the notes. All right, and I will make sure this gets back to you ASAP for your photo shoot. Can you give a shout out to Teresa? She gave us $100 for you guys. Oh, where? Right here. Thank you, Teresa. Are you headed down to the booth? I'm going to stay for a